Hey everybody, Design Super Paul Games. Oh man, welcome back to the Tug Dick Show. Our team's been struggling lately. We've been playing like 500 ball. Cole Hamels has, and I wish he could pitch for us every game. We have won one, and we have lost one against the Cardinals in this three-game series. This game determines who wins the series. Cardinals are in first place in their division. We're in first place in ours. Possible playoff preview. Plenty of peas! Crafty? This sounds like they're scheming. <laughs> yeah, I'll get the farm from him. Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team... No, we'll never know what he gets his team. Oh, well. Into the box, Dick, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Runners on second and third. We're down by two, but there are no outs. See if they give us anything to hit. There we go. Come home. See, Tug Dick, he might be a bit of a jerk, but that's a selfless act right there. Taking the sacrifice, getting that run, cutting that lead in half. Saw it was something outside we could push the other way. He's a team player. He's not nice to people, but he's a team player. 5-3. We're down by two. Or up by two. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. And the off-balance throw gets... You try to punch me up, I'll punch you right back in the dick. Took Dick over for two with an RBI. We're down by a run. Runner on third, two outs. Hold that. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to beat that out. Oh, uh, no. Sadly not. Why do we get two negatives on batting clutch there for failing? When we succeeded on the other batting clutch, we only got one positive. I think they're a little harsh on the batting clutch of this game. Still down by a run. Two outs. 1-1 one, one count. Next game is the All-Star game. This guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. Tug Dig, 0 for 3 with an RBI today. Tied ball game. No outs. Runner on second. Wind's blowing out to center. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. That's inside. That was close. That was inside, though. Two balls. on his line so far and hangs an ERA just a little over three and a half. Three zero count. They might as well just walk them at this point. But they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Three zero pitch. A swing and oh, that's the first strike. Finally gets one in the zone. Runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And as Giants fans here on television quite frequently, that yeah. is out of here. We got a two-run lead now. Yeah. 
hard way over the big wall going the other way. Sick of giving up six, seven, eight runs in a game and losing. We might still give up six, seven, eight runs, but at least we're trying to win. Well, they've got the elevate and celebrate thing working in this one, guys. That was their fourth big fly of the game. Here, I don't know what you think about this. Tugnick, one for four. That home run was huge. Hopefully, we still have the lead. We do got a four run lead. Runner at first, two outs, bottom of the eighth. and mix in some off-speed pitches. Strike one. Books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this? Oh, offense, just a little late on that. Wait a little too long. Two strikes to take Dick. It's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on... Oh, I'm disappointed he can outrun that. Giants leave one. As the lead holds at 10 to well, we just got to make three outs and we win this thing, meaning we win the series. Well, this one had its I was like, what? We lost? No, it's some stupid challenge thing. We win! San Francisco scored 10 runs on the way to victory. Sergio Sanchez gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark. Yeah, because our starting pitcher sucked. Ted Dick was only one for five, but that one was huge. Oh, and, and early on, we, we had a sacrifice in the first to score a run. Getting them RBIs. That's like three RBIs, I think, that game. Which brings us to the All-Star Game. Milwaukee? It's supposed to be in Cleveland. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, because we're, we, I'm thinking about this year for real. In game... Wait, in game, we should be the same year. It should be 2019. Um, I don't want to do any of these drills on here because they're boring. Uh, can we just do yoga and be done with it? Please don't make me do a mini game. I want to go play the all-star game. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thank God there's no mini game for yoga. Our Cole Hammer's is starting for us. It's like being at home. Check that out. Our best starter is starting for the National League. Salazar is starting for the American League. Uh, can we get the lineups? Oh, this is the only thing they're going to show. Man, they should have the lineups and stuff. This is the only time you'll ever see me root for the National League. Every year in real life, I watch the All-Star Game and root for the American League. Best league. Too bad they don't have the Home Run Derby in it. That would have been awesome. This evening, as we get you set for another edition, well, for some reason, we're playing in uh, Chicago, not Cleveland, but okay. Between the American League All Stars and the National League All Stars, I have no idea why this doesn't reflect real life where it should be. The game should be able to do that. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All Star game here on MLB Network. I'll be nah, Wrigley Field's a classic stadium. Mark DeRosa, That's cool but too. Before we turn to them, let's turn to the results of the fan voting. Posey made it. Awesome. Starters. So we have three Giants on the team starting. I wonder if Belt made it as like a backup. Final preparations being made on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League Baseball All Star Game on MLB Network, and it comes your way. Next. Let's go, Hamels. 
Old King Cole having a great year. That's so awesome that he's in the All-Star game. See Tug Dick right over there on the right? They ought to have like the national anthem for that part or something. Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2019 National League All Star. Great scoreboard, but let's see something other than scoreboards this play. Now we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin. This part is still stupid game. because they don't. <laughs> this isn't a boxing match. You don't need to see their weight and their reach. Show those stats right there. State gets the call here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Cole Hamill's one of the top left-handed pitchers in the game of baseball. Early on in his career with the Philadelphia Phillies was really almost the ace of those really good Philadelphia Philly teams. His best pitch, the straight changeup. His changeup was as good as it is now when he was in high school coming out of San Diego, California. 93 to 95, will throw the overhand curve. Tug Dick playing in left, really starting left. Pitch Fastball and a Pretty solid team pitch. right there. I assure you, there will be gameplay. It's not just pregame. Like in real life. Digging in, Elvis Andrews, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Top of the first one out. Goes down to get this thing as this is. No, 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 shortstop. No. <laughs> I think it's like, this is my moment. Look at the visitors starting lineup. What's the key for them tonight, Hero? Well, Maddie, this lineup's gonna have to find a way to score early. Get this pitcher uncomfortable, stay on the attack, get into the bullpen. That's the name of the game. Hey, Let Cabrera. Settle in. He'll breeze through seven strong. Now to the plate, Eric Hosmer. He'll get that to take third. his first cuts here. Still first ball. inning. The first baseman. The one-two. Lifted in the air to straight away. Short step's not getting that one. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So a fairly painless top of the first. It's the American League nothing. National Leaguers coming to bat. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game, exclusively on MLB Network. Let's go National League. Digging in, Wilson Ramos. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Man, I'm not used to having Tug Dick hit so low down in the lineup, which is kind of crazy that he does because he's got like the fourth best batting average. Oh shit! He caught it, yeah. He's got like the fourth best batting average in the National League. He's got the most RBIs in the National League, and they've got him hitting like seventh or something. He plays one of the most reliable first basemen in the game. Makes the routine play. Did they already just show bad. this? He can pick and grin, saving his infielder some serious errors. Stepping up now, Tug Dick. Oh, and he leaves the stolen bases too. Bottom of the second. Still tied. One out. Here's the first pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. He is last year's National League MVP. Come on, get through the infield. Oh, so close, but does not beat it out. Stupid shortstop. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Tug Dick. He got on top of one and was a ground down. Bottom of the fourth, still tied as a pitcher's duel. Two outs. Burner wheels down the first base line. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Oh, oh! Guy gets to it. That sucks. Nothing across here this half. 
on to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied nothing nothing. It's definitely a pitcher's duel of an all-star game, only one hit per team. Runner at second, one away, and standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Top of the six, one out. They they are threatening. Ooh. I just became a man, my voice cracked. Uh runner at second. Uh-oh. This is hit the other way out toward left field. <laughs> it was a very roundabout way. That was the Chicago loop of catching. Yeah, Belt. He did make the team, too. Come on, Belt. Oh, man. They pulled us for Belt. We're hitting better than Belt this season. Hopefully, Belt got a hit. American League wins, like usual. Well, that sucks for us, National League. <laughs> that sucks that Belt was the one that took his place. What was the final score? It's still awesome that he made the team. You can see, look, the American thing, there's a guitar on there, on their shirt. The guitar is because of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Not in Chicago, Illinois. Wow, our team only scored one run. American League beats us 4-1. to one. Oh, indeed. Well, I'll see you